Yeah, I've been uh, playing Pokemon ROM hacks to take my, you know, mind off the disappointment of Sword and Shield. Um, so that'll be my topic. Go ahead. So Pokemon, if you don't know, you've been living under a rock, is a game where... No. Oh, we've done that. <laughs> um, ROM hacks are uh, hacks of uh, Pokemon games people have made. They can be um, just quality of life improvements or completely new game in some cases. Um, that's the kind I tend to play. Uh, you can get entirely new regions. Some people do like new Pokemon. Um, they're almost all, unfortunately, they're almost all for the GBA and older games. Yeah, um, I there was know. one that I think got kiboshed pretty early. That was a Gen 5 one. It was well, the one I with the uh, nuclear a, top. I think it's just too difficult to develop like entirely new everything for the DS games at the moment. Um, I yeah, think they had the really good only, sprouts. So. Only people have been... I think it's like people have been recently making some strides in that category. Um, even I, even the 3DS games, actually, I saw a proof of concept of uh, Gen 2 in the Sun and Moon engine, I believe. Or maybe it was X and Y, but that, that would be cool. Um, but yeah, so almost all the main ones you'll find are for um, Emerald or like Fire Red, and then a couple for like uh, Crystal. Are some there's some really good ones out there. Mm -hmm. um, I've been playing. Uh, hmm. I've been playing a ROM hack of a ROM hack. Um, <laughs> You're getting Pokemon in deep. Glaze. There's Pokemon Glaze, which um, is an Emerald ROM hack, and then uh, it's in its own uh, the Tanad region. Uh, which is just in uh, their storyline. It's just west of Johto. Uh, post, like you get the Johto is an explorable region post game. Um, and the, I'm playing the blazed glazed version of it, which just has some uh, tweaks to like the, uh, I think a little bit increased difficulty and some other just quality of life changes like. Um, making it easier to evolve some Pokemon and hmm. um, yeah, it has five starters, the Sinnoh or the Gen 4 starters. No, Gen 4? Yes, Gen yeah, 4. Sinnoh. Yeah. Uh, and then also for some reason the Luxray line <laughs> and uh, Lucario line, which I chose the Lucario. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm tired of Lucario. <laughs> he gets uh, so pushed. Eh, he's like he's I mean, I he's almost like no. He's getting to Charizard I I levels. Used once, so. I used them in X and Y. That was it. Mm. Um, but yeah, it involves... There's a mysterious evil team. Gasp. Which is something you won't really get in the new uh, this Pokemon game. Um, team Fusion. Uh, going around the ruins of the Tunad region, trying to... Uh, they have their evil plan. There's also... A um, like a uh, you keep slipping into like our dimension momentary for there's also that's <laughs> part of the story. Um, that's what I've noticed trend wise that a lot of the ROM hacks have weird, quirky stories when they do have any story at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, I only try and play the ones that have like some uh, amount of story. Um, there, yeah, you have three roaming, uh, like rival, uh, and a scarfed Pikachu that hates you. Um, you get because you also get an item that lets you talk to Pokemon. Uh, but That's it's amazing. pretty fun. You uh, become in. <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, it's got um, Pokemon from all the way up to Unova, I believe. Um, a lot of these games will have, I mean, a lot of them will have, like, I saw one uh, ROM hack that had the Sun and Shield starters in it. Like, um, some people have ported Sun and Moon to uh, black and white uh, uh, as a ROM, yeah. basically. Yeah. 
Um, Sprouts look so good in black yeah. a lot. Uh, I haven't played any of the like quality, just the game, the normal game with quality of life changes, basically. Um, but I think I've been wanting to play Gen Five because I I think Gen Five is actually the best mechanical, best Pokemon game mechanically. I think it's the best looking too, as far as like yeah, that was like the one they put the most effort in. It felt like yeah, was five. it's just uh black and white and black and white 2 which is an actual story sequel um yeah they also yeah, have the I best story in <laughs> as well possibly the best like the the pokemon of that gen don't aren't the best in my for me yeah but everything else about the game is basically and i actually really like that you only use the new pokemon in the first one yeah it's pretty cool um but yeah, so have you uh, played? Uh, have you played Crystal Clear? No, is that just that's the, the open, open world, world crystal? one? Yeah, yeah, which is pretty cool. Uh, you yeah. also, I think, you have like twenty starters that you can choose from oh, in that wow. game. Nice. Um, yeah, I've been playing Blaze Glaze. Uh, Pokemon Gaia is another one I've been I've played. It's fairly popular. Uh, there is. PokeCommunity.com has like a whole form dedicated. Like it's got most of the ROM hacks you're gonna find can be found there. They have like a Hall of Fame. Um, have you played any of the uh, the, um, the the Fire Red Leaf Green browser MMO one? No, <laughs> that's, that's I mean that would I, be a ROM hack. Then. Yeah, I've, I've tried. It yeah. it it's kind of works. <laughs> huh. Um, there, so, uh, like, uh, in the last, they haven't done a 2019 Hall of Fame yet, but in 2018 Hall of Fame, there's, um, the winner is, uh, Dark Violet, which is probably, it is basically a G, a Gen 1 remake, and I, not huge into Gen 1, but I think I'm going to give this one a go, um, it's someone's ideal remake of Gen 1. It's not mm -hmm. like it's not just an updated of Fire Leaf. Yeah. And uh Leaf, or yeah, Fire it's an actual Leaf. GBA or Game yeah. Boy. It is a Fire Red ROM hack, but it's not oh, okay, just okay. a reskin of that. I mean, like Gotcha. Um it it's you can play as uh, I think as either um red, blue or green. Or mm, can you play as blue? I don't remember, but um, it's got its own story, and it, it was voted as most engaging of 2018. Um, like it has the best story, I think. Uh, you there is uh, Giovanni's son is involved. Silver, uh, my boy. Yeah, uh, he doesn't. Ha that's not his name in this one, but um, yeah, the uh, the the gym leader order is redone because. They want uh, the, you can re you can uh, you can refight gym leaders, and it wouldn't make sense to have Giovanni be you know to refight him in storyline. So there's actually a and uh, they replace him with a character from you know Pokemon story, but it mm -hmm. is a mystery until you play it. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> um, yeah, Blaine ends up being the last uh, gym leader in the this order, but. Uh, has he beat, rebuilt the island? That's the big question. Oh, uh, it Cinnabar is, Island. Yeah, it is actually the Kanto in the game is based off of the like the idea of Kanto in uh, the Gen Two games. Like uh, when you go through, like, yeah, I imagine bigger than what it is actually in Gold and Silver because those they're pretty tiny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, then there's also there was um, another one from the Hall of Fame is. Uh, Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter, which is based on the manga, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah. Polyworld. You, you can actually play as red, blue, green, or yellow. Uh-huh. And, yeah, it has... It follows the... Uh, pretty closely, I believe, until they... At the, I mean, it's still in progress. Like, every couple months, more comes out. There's a bunch of, like, side chapters. 
Oh, that's and cool. then there's um an orange they're working like they're going through orange islands right now i believe oh, nice. in the story, which is uh not from the manga but yeah it has really detailed like uh i don't know they call them mug shots but like when you see avatars like, yeah the avatars like talking and stuff uh uh-huh. like it just looks really good it has like updated graphics for the gba version like they redid all of the sprites it looks like um it looks really good yeah, there's just so many ROM hacks out there. Like there are there are some that really just uh prioritize quantity over quality. If you want games that have like four regions, it's out there. Um there's uh Pokemon Cloud White, which is you play through Gen 1. Yeah, I've seen people talk about that when yeah. You get there are uh there are uh, th- then you can go through Jodo, or sorry, uh, there are, it's got Kanto, Jodo, and two unique regions. One featuring a storyline inspired by Seven Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, and there are two sequels for are, that. Are we talking about the, the famous anime Se- Seven Samurai, or are we talking about the Kurosawa uh, film Seven Samurai? The film. <laughs> I actually like the anime, but. I do too. Also, I believe the anime anime is Samurai Seven, right? Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, like Cloud White has like uh, new rivals, new evil teams, uh, national decks at the beginning, new moves and abilities, black and white repel systems. Uh, you could run indoors. That's a big quality of life they add to like every ROM hack. Um, yeah, there's a Pokemon World tournament. There's day and night and weather. Uh, a buyable home and customization. Yeah, there's it's got a lot going on. Unfortunately, a bit. Uh, my understanding is it's a bit buggy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's just so much to play, and <laughs> yeah, don't like, play uh, brown. It's terrible. <laughs> Uh, Victory, there's Victory Fire, which has its own, like, black and white 2 style sequel. Like, Uh it takes place a couple years after the original game, uh, Pokemon Resolute or something, I think is the sequel's name. I have them already, like, downloaded and stuff. So, yeah, because to make a ROM, you, like, or hack, you, uh, you basically, you get the ROM, and then you have to apply the patch, which is the ROM hack to it. Yep. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, oh. Yeah, that's all. Uh, I've never played a lot of the ROMs, so uh, it was never a big thing for me. So it's actually yeah. kind of interesting to hear our, like what people have done with it. A lot. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> clearly. <laughs> like, ROM hacks are like super big in, in yeah, the speedrunning community too. Just so different yeah. games, not really Pokemon necessarily, but Right. It's kind of it's a thing like that people have like there's a ROM hack of I think like Super Metroid Zelda together. Oh really? The ran the Zelda Super Metroid like the uh, Link to the Past Super Metroid ROM hack randomizer, oh, wow. where you get like Zelda items in Super <laughs> Metroid and you switch back and forth between the games to play them. Oh weird! And you like so some Metroid items will show up in chess. Run? Uh, they they do speed run that at GDQ. That's how I found yeah, out I was about it. Say, that's what I, yeah, okay. That's they did like a co op where they got a Super Metroid runner who did the Metroid parts and a Link to the Past runner who did the oh, Link to the Past. So yeah, like ROM hacking is like kind of taken off. It feels like in the yeah. past like four or five years or so. I mean, you like looking through some of these games, like because unfortunately there's a lot of one, ones that like start off very promising and then just kind of yeah. drop off. Like, they just failed to get further updates. It's, like, playable to the fourth gym or something. It's like, oh. Um, but, yeah, they go back, like, to the, bef- like, pre-2010. Like, I think, like, 2007, there was some, like... Oh, yeah, I think stuff. Brown is basically. one of the older ones. Yeah. Um, there's uh, one called Pokemon Insurgents, which has, you know, um, its own website. It's new region and story. They've got Delta species from the uh, card game, which is different types for Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I think a Steel Noivren is on their main site. New Mega Evolutions. They've got a Mega Flag on that actually looks pretty awesome. Uh, and then ROM hacks also have online features. You can actually, like, 
connect with people and trade and battle online. Yep. It's, that's, <laughs> they're that, cool. That, that, that was pretty crazy to me. Also, Insurgents has a built-in uh, Nuzlocke mode where you select the things you Oh, want. that's cool. Built-in randomizer and then just yeah. a lot of other uh, built-in challenge stuff. That's like the cool yeah. stuff that they can do uh, with that. Yeah. Another, yeah, like uh, being able to... Um, the increased difficulty is kind of nice in these games, like in ROM hacks. Like generally, because, you know, they're not... Like Pokemon kind of like is always going... like. Yeah, like I said, it's comfort be, food. You just like play it to play well, a Pokemon they game, just, you know? They kind of, they're going to be... Tar like children is definitely their target audience. And like, again, why Gen 5 I think was one of the best was because that was when... That was like the oldest like target demographic they went and then they just started going right then they like peaked and then went it's going back down or whatever like yeah the care that you like your main characters just keep getting like went back to being like really young and stuff um and the story or whatever is you know less in depth and all that but you can get it in from x i mean you might have to search for uh like y y it takes a bit of searching but I, there's a lot of good ones out there i think Mm -hmm. it's fun yeah play crystal clear eventually mm. it's well i haven't played a lot of them but it's the best one i've played yeah there was one i downloaded at one point that was i don't remember the name of it but it was trying to make like a dark greedy pokemon story yeah. it actually did it like fairly well like for the little bit i played it was just really buggy yeah there was one i remember i wonder if i still have it even bookmarked i think i bookmarked it you were like a criminal or something like i don't remember yeah, there are quite a few where you actually play as like team rocket yeah yeah oh, wow that sort of thing yep um yeah uh there's a lot of options yeah the violet one sounds cool i might check that out later yeah um i think that and then this uh pokemon insurgents i think i'm also gonna grab and those will probably be the next. That's the one with the the nuzlocke on it. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. I'll, I might grab that one too. All right. Mm. Yeah, you can also equip armor to your Pokemon. <laughs> so, what? I can I can trick out my Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and give him has, gear. Uh, I'm gonna give him suspension. customize your character by wearing different clothes. Yeah. That's yeah, something yeah. that Sword and Moon, or Sword and Moon. I'm like, damn, you just said Sun and Shield earlier. Now I'm doing Sword and Moon. <laughs> so something that Sword and Shield have, like, went super deep all in yeah. on. It's just, like, the character customization. It's kind of insane. I spent, like, an hour doing it the other day. Because well, fashion I mean, size. That, that is definitely something I would, in, I would like. Yeah. But, uh, I, I yeah. enjoyed uh, when X and Y had a little bit more to trick out your character with. Like, you had some choices. I was like, this is really nice. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm 